Don't worry about taking turns. I'm sure you must be hungry. So have at it! Sushi! I love sushi! Me too! <laughs> so, what's that giant head on the wall over there? That's the pride of my collection. An ancient statue modeled after the dragons of the before time. What's special about them compared to, you know, someone like Lilac? What's special? Ha! Did you come from another planet or something? <coughs> Sorry. Long ago, a magnificent creature soared across Avalis in a ball of fire. When it landed, our ancestors were so captivated by its power and beauty that they built three kingdoms in its honor. Shangmu, Shangtu, and Shui Gang? Bingo! And when the cities were built, the dragon transformed into the legendary kingdom stone we know and love today. The same stone that was heartlessly yanked away from me. You took it first. Carol, manners. Sorry. Why did you take it? Why now? Shangmu is on the brink of an energy crisis. With the stone in our hands, we could have solved it overnight. Well, that worked out well. I don't think this energy crisis of yours is an accident. I think it's deliberate, and I think we know who is responsible. Don't bore me with your lectures. I've heard them a thousand times from a thousand self-righteous warriors. Unless you have something useful to say, the only thing that matters to me is how quickly I can cast you aside. I really have a lot of work to do. <coughs> You'll fail. Men like you always fail. Interesting theory. Hello, sir. Have you beheaded the intruders yet? What is it? There is an incoming transmission from General Serpentine. The full moon is out! <laughs> Not a cloud in the sky! Don't relax just yet. Upload the scans and get back here immediately. Of course, my lord! Contact the crash site and tell them to refit our warp drive. I want the artifact to fit like a glove. As you wish, sir. We're getting off this rock. An alliance with Shang Tu. What a lovely idea. Oh, hey, Magister. Sorry about ambushing your soldiers and desecrating your temple. Let's go frolicking in the woods together with our makeup and pretty dresses. Your Excellency, we're a neutral party. Send us to speak on your behalf. If he won't listen to the greatest ruler in all of Avalis, why would he listen to a bunch of kids? Can we try? Pretty please? Just imagine how much people are going to love you for reuniting the three kingdoms against a common enemy. You'll be a hero! Me? A war hero? Now that you mention it, I could use a few extra hands. So you'll help us then? Eh, what the heck. It's worth a shot. Yay! To the airship! But of course, it's equipped with everything you'll need for your trip, including your luxurious living quarters. Good luck, my friends! Thank you! Just imagine it, Carol. There are other worlds out there, just like ours. 
<gasps> we should go on a space adventure someday. Don't you think that'd be so cool? Are you kidding? It'd be the coolest thing ever. <laughs> I remember saying almost exactly the same thing. Did you have a change of heart? Not really, no. I guess I just wasn't prepared for the sacrifices I had to make. Just gotta keep moving forward with the mission, I guess. No point in thinking about a past that can't be changed. You're right. <clears throat> How's the other girl doing? Mila? I'm not sure. Can you go check on her, Carol? Okie dokie. I'm gonna get some sleep. Well, I'm fine. You go on ahead. How's it going? I'm... I'm making a wish. Oh, what kind of wish? Well... I really want to see my mommy and daddy again. Sounds like a good thing to wish for. We're gonna be going inside soon. You wanna come? Okay. Mom! What's going on? Shoot! We've got to disable those ships and we're toast! just don't know when to fold, do you? Don't you get it? Lord Brevin's the murderer! Thanks for the tip. Now get off our ship before I throw you overboard. Like that'll happen. <sighs> oh well, don't say I didn't warn you. Psycho! Come on! Hit me if you can!
This is far from over! So that's why your airships are boat-shaped. How could Zhao do this? He must have thought we were all he needed. We would have been ready if he had told us. No wonder Brevin's gotten away with everything. Our leaders are too brain-dead to pay attention to anything but themselves! <sighs> Never. It's alright. How far is the closest city? Shang Tu is just a few miles east. The river should take us there. We'll give that panda guy an update on our situation. The Magister might be able to help. I hope he believes us. <laughs>